Hello and welcome. This video is a continuation of my video series on Embedded C. And uh, the main objective of this uh, particular video is that I want to explore C functions. So what is a C function? Uh, as we have seen in my, in my earlier videos, a uh, C program is made up of one or more functions. Basically, a function is a program that contains uh, one or more executable statement. Uh, and my other videos on C, embedded C, we have seen that the main uh, function is the function that begins execution of any C program. So for any C program, the main function has to be there. Now, beside the main function, C also provide predefined functions. Now, one of the example of predefined functions are mathematical functions. Uh, an example is shown here, which can be called at any place in the program and they return a value when it is needed where sorry where it is needed so in this case this c function uh, mathematical, mathematical c function log of y returns the result of log of y to the variable x so log is the function name and y is known as the argument Okay, so beside the uh, predefined function, C uh, allows you to write your own function. So in writing your own function, uh, you must provide a name for the function. Uh, in this example, I just call it function name, but it should also include an open, open bracket and close a bracket followed by a semicolon. Now this function can be called or invoked anywhere in the main function. Let's take a look at a, an example. So in this example, I start off with the include directive. And the first thing we need to do is to declare the function. So in, our, in my uh, example here, I have an one LED as the function name. So I declare that here just before the main function then the other thing the secondly I need to de define the function so here I write the code for that function so we put the code here for the function and then in the main program as mentioned earlier to invoke or to call the function in the main program we just put one LED uh, brackets open close and followed by a semicolon and that this action here will invoke or call the, the function so let's take a look at the demonstration okay so we are in back in the uh, Kyle IDE <laughs> so I've uploaded my project here my source code is here so let's briefly go through the source code. So I've got the include directive to include this .h file. So the next thing is to declare the function I'm going to use in the main program here. So that is init one LED. So I declare it here. And then I define the function one LED here. Uh, let's take a look at the the code here so basically i'm going to copy 0 1 hexa to p0 or port 0 and then return back to the main function so in the main function to invoke or call the one led i just write it out here and that's basically it so let's uh come clean the uh, code and then rebuild all targets and I've got no errors no warning so start stop 
and I've got the uh, port parallel port zero up here so the code is now ready and I'm going to use F11 to step into the function so watch the two arrows yeah it's gone into the function now and it will execute this statement here so watch out for uh, P0 or port 0 and it's got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's binary uh, 1, 4, hex, 0, 1. And then the next thing is it's finished and the program terminates. Okay, so before we go any further, uh, I'd just like to uh, take another look at the uh, demonstration code. Uh, but this time I'm going to look at the pr the code uh, and represent it with these two boxes here connected by this arrow. This is known as what we call a structure chart. So here the main here represents the uh, the main function in the C code, and this one LED box here represents the uh, one LED function in the code and the two boxes are connected by this arrow basically what this tells us that is that the main function is calling the one LED uh, function now uh, I'd like you to uh, keep this in mind uh, before we move on further with the uh, video Okay, so let's take a look at uh, another demonstration program. And this time I'm getting the main function to call two uh, functions. So the one function will be the one LED function that we've seen earlier. And it will be also calling another function called two LEDs. So this is the overall view of the uh, code, demonstration code. And here is the uh, implementation in uh, C code. So again, I start off with include uh, the reg52.h uh, file. I declare the, the two functions that I'm going to, that I will be calling. So the first one is int one LED. Then the second function is int two LEDs and followed by the main program. Now immediately after the main program, I define the two functions here. So here is the one LED function and the purpose of the one LED function is to output zero one hexa to port zero. And then the second function uh, which is called int two LEDs and the uh, purpose of this function is to output this value uh, 0, 3 hexa to port 1 or P1. So let's take a look at the uh, code demonstration now. Okay, so I've uploaded the second demonstration. The project is here. The source code is here very briefly so I've got my include directive here then I declare uh, the two functions that I'm going to use so it, the first one is init one LED init two LEDs so declare the two LED the two functions here then here I'm going to define init one LED and one LED as before will copy 0, 1 hexa to P0. Now init two LEDs that will copy 0, 3 hexa to P1 or port 1. And in the main function to invoke or call the two functions, I just write them one LED and two LEDs. All right, so I've already compiled it. Uh, so it's zero error, zero warning. So straight for debug, stop, start, stop. 
click OK. As usual, I'm going to single step, use F11 to single step. That would step into the function. So one LED, uh, execute this statement here, 0, 1 to port uh, 0. So watch out for port, Z, port P0. Yes, and then return to the main program. Now step into the two LEDs function. Now this will copy 0, 3 to port 1 or P1 and then return and program terminates. Okay, so let's take a look at something called passing values. Now, a function argument is a value that is passed to the function at the time that it is being called. Uh, so what does this mean? Let's consider uh, a mathematical function log. And in this example here, I've got log of 2. And 2 is the value inside the bracket and it's, it is known as the argument. Now, the act or the process of placing 2 inside the bracket is known as passing a value. Let's take a look at a uh, demonstration code here. So I start off with the as usual uh, include directive and then I declare the function that I'll be using in the main function here. And I define the function shift bit here. I'll come to the, uh, the details of this in a moment. So uh, let's look at the main function. So here I've declared two variables, input value and new value of the type integer int. And then I place or assign 0, 1 hexa to the input value. And then I assign 0 decimal to the new value Basically, this uh, clears new value. And then I assign input value to P0, which is port 0. And here, this line, I invoke or call the function shift bit. And within the brackets, I put in my argument uh, input value. The function will then perform the operation and return the result to new value. So let's take a look at the details of the shift bit function. So shift bit function is defined here. Notice the uh, in the argument part here, I changed the name of the argument. Here is called input value, but when it gets to the function, it takes on the different name. I'll explain that uh, in a few moments. So the, I declare in the function, I declare another uh, variable called shifted value of the type integer int. And then here I perform a shift bit left uh, operation on the uh, input argument here. Uh, the temporary value so I shift bit a bit shift left by one bit so whatever the uh, the value here is I perform a shift a bit shift left one bit by one bit and then after the operation I assign that to the shifted value variable and then here in this statement I return that uh, shifted value back to the uh, main function to this new and assigned it to the new value and then the new value is then uh, assigned to p0 port 0 and here the return 0 will end the program 
Okay, let's take another look at the code. Uh, this time I've extracted the main function and put it uh, in a box, a text box. And uh, we're going to take a look, a little bit uh, detailed look into the shift into the shift bit function call. So I repeat the uh, function itself here. All right, so. Um, when we invoke or call the shift bit function, we pass this argument input value to the function, this, the shift bit function. So notice that when the, the uh, input value uh, gets into the uh, shift bit function it, we change the name of the value so it's called input value in the main function but when it gets into the function itself uh, the name of that value changes to temporary value and in the function uh, I declare another variable called shifted value of the type integer int and here we do a, a shift bit shift left by one bit operation on the temporary value and then assign the result that of that operation to the shifted value now as we manipulate uh, the temporary value that that was passed from the main function um, it doesn't affect the input value that is in the main function so in other words we protect the uh, original value keep the original value in the main function and uh, carry out the operation on the that uh, on the temporary value without affecting the input value now having done this or finished completing this operation we then return the shifted value to the main function and assign that to new value so now new value would have this shifted value and in the next line of code this new value will be then part assigned to p0 or port 0 and after that uh, it returns 0 and the program terminates okay so i've uploaded the uh, demonstration code uh, for passing the values so the project is up here and my source code is on this side and um, okay so let's uh, briefly go through this code so we have the include directive and then I declare my function that I want to use here uh, notice this time the function uh, name is followed by uh, an argument in brackets and then I define the function here and uh, as explained earlier so I would get the um, input the function will get the input from the main program here well the input value will be passed to the int temporary value in the uh, in the function and then uh, the temporary value will be shifted uh, one bit left and return the result to this shifted value and the shifted value is then returned back to the main function to new value and it will be then displayed on uh, port zero so okay so let's start the debug session as usual I'm going to um, single step this so I've also uh, 
put up the watch here at the bottom right hand corner so I'm going to use F11 as usual to step in so input value will be assigned 0 1 hexa alright so and you have the uh, input value is 0 1 hexa and then uh, we need to get the peripheral of port 0 up here all right and then we step it we should then decide the 0 1 binary on port 0 now watch out for this one now we're going to step into the function right so we've gone into the function uh, temporary value now has 0 1 because uh, from a line 11 uh, when the function is invoked or call the input value which is 0 1 is now passed into the function temporary value and temporary value now acquired 0 1 and now we're going to bit shift uh, the bit left by one bit so we have 0 1 so we have 0 1 in temporary so uh, watch the shifted value it's now 0 2 and now the function will return the shifted value back to the main function and the main function will display that value a uh, new value on port 0 so let's watch it yes and uh, it display uh, uh, 2 binary 2 on port 0 okay in the earlier part of the uh, video uh, we've seen how uh, a single argument is passed into a function so in this part of the video I like to uh, find out how do we pass multiple input arguments to a function so let's go straight to the demonstration code so the include uh, directive is here and then I declare the uh, function that I want to use or invoke in the main function I declare it I declare that function which is passed data uh, here and then I define the uh, function here uh, int pass data brackets int data 1 int data 2 close bracket now int data 1 and int data 2 they are known as formal parameters or a parameter list all right so um, to pass uh, the data to from the main program to the uh, function all we need to do is call the function and in the brackets we uh, give it two values here in this example I have one and five uh, separated by a comma so one will be passed to int data one and five will be passed to int data two so when it when we call this function these two arguments or parameters will be passed into the function and the function basically will output data 1 to p0 or port 0 and data 2 will be assigned to p1 or port 1 so um, let's take another look at the code again but this time um, we use this I've extracted the uh, main program um, sorry the main function here and the function uh, is written here it display here so when we invoke a, a pass data we will pass this value 1 to int data 1 and then 5 will be passed into int data 2 and the function will then assign data 1 to p0 and data 2 to p1 so let's take a look at the demonstration program 
Okay, so I've uploaded the uh, demonstration code. So the project is here, the source code is here. Uh, so I have the include directive here. I declare the function that I want to use here and then define the function here. Uh, the function basically has to pass the date, this value to port 0 and this value to port 1, P1. And the function gets these two uh, data or value from the main function, which is this one here. This is invoked with two arguments, 1 and 5. So 1 will be passed to data 1 and 5 will be passed to data 2. And from there, data 1 is uh, output to P0, data 2 will be output to P1. So let's, uh, let me just put this back here. Okay, right. Um, okay, let me just clean it, redo it. Okay, right. Okay, so no errors, no warnings. So let's go to debug, start, stop. I've already got uh, P0, port 0 and port 1 because that's the uh, ports used by the function here. So, right, so it's ready. So I'm going to use F11 to step in to the function. So I'm passing these two values, 1 and 5 to data 1 and data 2 respectively. So 1 goes here, 5 goes here. And we should see that effect uh, from these two statements. So let's have a look. So yeah, get into the function. And here I'm monitoring the, uh, the, the watch here. So data 1 has got 1 and data 2 has got 5, which is what is expected. And then it will be displayed to port 0. Yes, 1 is there and this should get a 5 here binary 5 it does and the function finishes and that's it we're done okay so we have come uh, to an end of this particular video on C functions uh, as usual I have uh, provided the uh, source code that I've used in this video uh, is you can find this source code in the link given below yeah. So um, that's it for now. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.